What's the trends? What's the current environment of retail right now, particularly in Germany? Like, are we finding that, you know, it's very much the same as what we've been experiencing 10 years ago? Are we moving to a new age of retail? I mean, John, what's your thoughts? Everything has been rapidly evolving over the years. And uh, it has mostly three pillars where customers in retail have been focusing on. It's first, like, differentiating customer propositions, where it's not just retail, but all, almost every service out there uh, or service provider is trying to find a differentiating way to present their service and their products to their customers and so that they can interact with those products and services in innovative ways. You talk with customers around what is customer lifetime value, right, stretched over different sessions. Do you see that there is a one-size-fits-all approach to be able to advise customers on this is one definition of, you know, customer lifetime value, go and implement it? First, the difficulty is to really um calculate or, or understand what is the lifetime value of a customer. It starts with the business model of the retailer. What is a good customer? If I sell, let's say, fast fashion, I want maybe the customer to come often to buy. But if I sell high quality products like a bike, you know, I'm not going to expect the customer to show up every month to buy another bike. So there, the question of what's a good customer is, is a total different. Horizons become different. So first, what you have to understand is what is my business model? What would a good customer look like for me? And then you have to collect data from various sources to really get a feel for what the actual value is of the customer instead of just looking at silos. But you also have to, uh, not only over various sessions, but also over various channels to identify what is my customer.